My name is Katie or KB Does Art and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make uh, a, a simple Christmas tree uh, or just a tree in general if you don't add all the ornaments and stuff to it. So first things first is I think I'm going to just use a cone for everything. So go ahead and just grab a cone. I'm going to press three and scale it up a couple different ways. I want to grab this edge. Uh, okay, I guess just click and drag it and then hold control and maybe just deselect the top. I think that might be the best way to do it. And then you can bevel that edge to get a little bit nicer of a rounded edge. You can also give it two segments if you want it to be like a little bit more exact. Um, I'm going to go into object mode. I'm going to make it a bit more circular. Okay, cool. So basically we're going to use this as a base and then we're going to just control D and duplicate it. And I'm going to shorten it like that. And then let's duplicate it one more time, bring it down, and scale it a bit like that. And then you can kind of like change the height on them if you want to make it different. Like maybe make this one a little bit longer. I'm going to take all these and just drag them up a bit. All right, looking pretty good. I like that. And then next up, we can grab a cylinder for the trunk. I'm gonna make mine pretty thick and small, kind of like that. Uh, let's also bring that down and click, double click on both these edges and bevel both of them, give it two segments, hold control and drag this down. There we go. All right, that looks good. So this is just like a super basic tree, uh, which we can now play with a bit. So for a Christmas tree, we could do a couple things. Um, Probably what I would do is grab just a normal sphere and you can treat these as ornaments, which is like literally just grab one, clip it to the surface um, and just duplicate it and move them around. That's a really easy way to just put a ton of ornaments on the tree is just by using that sphere. Uh, you can also add like rings to it if you think like a ring would be kind of cute on it. Uh, I'll show you guys how to make a star uh, but first I'm just going to populate it with uh, spheres. So go ahead and come back when you're all done adding your ornaments uh, and we'll continue from there. All right, so I've got all a ton of cute little fun ornaments on here. Um, something that you could also do is you could use a torus. Uh, I would probably up the radius to like a four or something. Um, and then rotate it 90 degrees. Uh, you can use a torus to be uh, basically like your lights. It would take a lot of manipulating, um, but you can basically do that. Uh, you guys can kind of see what I'm going for here. Uh, basically what I would do is like pick a side. Um, so let's say this is the front and then You can attach lights like this. And then I would probably just edit the, uh, the clipping a little bit. Uh, 
but yeah, you could add some just really quick lights going like that. Uh, what I would also do is you can select those and assign a new material to them. Do AI standard surface. And then uh, you can actually add an emission to it, which would make them uh, like literally glow. So that's kind of cool. Uh, while we're adding textures real quick, I'm just going to assign a new material to our three uh, tree colors. So you can just select like a green for that. Um, and then uh, depending on what colors you want for your ornaments, uh, you can just select some of those. And so let's say I want to do like red. Uh, I would up the metalness all the way on them. And maybe we do uh, like some yellow ones probably. Um, and then maybe like silver or something. All right, and then last guys can all be silver. All right, the trunk of course will be like a brown. You can apply a new material to that guy. And then let's go to Arnold and do a sky dome light. Uh, I'm gonna save this real quick. And do Arnold then render. All right, so you can see how that emission is working. Uh, I would probably change, I'm gonna change the emission color to be maybe like a yellow. Actually, now that I have it like that, it kind of looks like tinsel to me, which is kind of cool. Also, I'm noticing that these have a very odd color to them. Are those, is this my, okay, so let's make these yellow and then make these guys the gray, but like a lighter gray. Yeah, there you go. That looks better. Okay. Um, so I also want to grab a plane and let's just see how it's kind of like existing in this space a little bit. I'm going to give it that checker texture. Um, I want to see how he's looking. Yeah, actually the yellow totally does kind of give me a, um, like tinsel vibe. So we could go that route of making it like a tinsel fabric, um, or you could leave it glowing like this. Uh, you could also turn down the intensity of your sky dome light, and then you can really see the effects that the um, emissions is having. If you want it to be more, you can go up higher than one. Like you can make it like a hundred and then make it, you know, um, like crazy emitting. That's kind of up to you if you want to go that way. But um, yeah, I kind of think it might be nice to also, instead of having them curved like this, you could just have them, um, just like normal on the tree like that, instead of like angled. That also kind of looks good, but it's kind of up to you. I like to give you guys a couple of different options in case you choose to do something different. Um, what you could also do is use these uh, uh, like toruses as basically like a base for your string light. And then uh, you could apply um, like a ton of little Christmas bulbs to it. And then you would have like a ton of really cool uh, Christmas lights. So that might be something you guys could explore as well. But I think I'm going to leave mine like that. I kind of like it all all different. Uh, 
don't worry, I haven't forgot the star. We can go ahead and do that next since I'm sure you guys are eagerly awaiting the star. Uh, first things though, I want to add a multi-cut here. So grab your multi-cut tool and let's um, Okay, I guess I can't do that. Uh, let's select all these faces and I want to extrude them and offset them like that. Just to give like a little point here. Okay, and then lastly, for the star, we're gonna do a cube. Um, let's grab that and bring him on up. I'm gonna rotate him this way. So a star is a little difficult. Um, grab your multi-coat tool and make multi-cuts looking like this. And then let's go into the front view. And, oh, never mind, it's not there. Side view, yeah, there we go. Uh, and then going to make a star out of these guys, basically. Hopefully you can kind of see where this is going. I'm gonna drag these guys up these guys and then uh, for this side you want to add a multi-cut here and a multi-cut here and then you bring these guys down to be points you probably have to move this point over a bit move that guy All right, and then we can go ahead and assign that. You can either give it the gold material um, or you can give it a different material, kind of up to you. If you wanna make it um, that fun emitted light like that. And then all you need to do is just attach it to the tree. Um, if you wanted to bevel it, you would need to just like select all these edges and do control B. Um, and then when you click three, it'll round out a little bit nicer. I'm gonna give it a new material um, and then I'm gonna make it yellow and maybe like up the metalness a bit on it. I'm also gonna make it bigger cause I think it's cute when it's big. All right, and then I'm just going to delete the history on that guy, up the metalness a bit, and yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. So there's your little Christmas tree. Um, I'd love to see whatever variations you have. Uh, remember, like you could choose to completely just not use these, and then you'd just have a normal Christmas tree um, if you wanted. That's also another option. But uh, yeah, I'd love to see what you guys came up with. So I hope you like this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.